Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel and today we're talking more about the app Procreate. Um, today we're specifically going to be talking about everything that you would need to know about using brushes in Procreate. All right, welcome back to the Procreate app. If you watched our video before about Procreate for Beginners, you will be familiar with the layout um, of this Procreate app. So you will know where the brushes, um, the brush tools live. So up at the top right corner, we have our brush tool, our smudge tool, and our eraser tool. So I'm gonna talk about these more in depth in this video. So let's go ahead and click the brush tool. So in Procreate, um, there are pre-installed brushes that are supposed to imitate uh, real life art mediums. So some of those could be um, sketching pencils, inking pens, drawing pens, calligraphy pens, um, painting brushes. We have um, different textured and abstract brushes, even charcoals um, and watercolors. So Procreate comes with all of these brushes already installed. So you're gonna buy the app, download it, and then there's nothing else to do. All of these brushes are just already here. Um, and if you have the time, I would recommend just starting to go through each brush category and starting to play around with some of these brushes. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and pick some brushes to play around with. I'm going to pick some color. So let's go ahead and just go to the sketching um, brushes. So I use this pencil, 6B pencil. Um, most of the time um, for my any sketching I do to get ready to do a drawing. And you can see it really does behave like a pencil would as well. Um, the Apple Pencil is responding to my amount of pressure that I am putting on this brush. So I can do pressure, I can do less pressure. Um, I can also tilt my pencil and that will give me a nice shading effect like um, a real pencil, pencil would. And we are going to clear this away. All right, let's go ahead and try a different um, brush. I really also like these pastels. Um, so these brushes are going to try to mimic um, pastel art, um, which I'm not very familiar with. So any of you pastel artists can tell me um, how these brushes do imitating what they would look like. I like Artist Crayon as well. I think it has some really cool texture. That's one of the things I like about all of these brushes is they really do look lifelike because of the texture properties. Okay, let's make all this go away again. So this is what I encourage you to do. I encourage you to come in the brush library and pick a different folder. Just go through some um, brushes and try them. So now we're in inking. Let's pick a different color. Let's just play around with this brush. So you can change um, the size over the left. You probably see me doing that a lot. So this slider right here is gonna change the size of your brush. So there's an inking brush. Let's make it a little bigger or you can make it smaller. So that's gonna cha dramatically change the look of your brush um, by changing the size. We also, the next slider below is the opacity slider and that is gonna change the transparency of the brush. So normally I use opacity at 100% because that is full color um, for that brush. Now if you drop the opacity down, it's going to change and it's going to be less transparent. Let's pick a different brush to keep playing around with opacity. Let's go ahead and pick syrup. So this is at full opacity. Let's clear this page. This is at full opacity. We're going to drop our opacity so there's less opacity there. It's getting more transparent every time we drop it down. So that's just changing the transparency of the brush. So those are those two brush sliders right here, which are very, very helpful um, for quick maneuvers when you are changing from brush to brush. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking through these brushes. So we've looked through sketching, inking. Now we do not have time to go through all of these, but we'll just go ahead and highlight a couple of these um, different brushes. Let's pick a different color. I'm gonna come down to my color palette. So we're just gonna show you some of these different brushes um, that have different textures that I think are very interesting. So you can just come and you can play around and see what all these Procreate brushes can do. I really like the calligraphy brush. I really like the calligraphy brushes. They really do imitate calligraphy pens um, 
that change the amount of paint coming out when you add pressure. So when you're up, it's thinner. When you're down, it's thicker. So you can kind of work with calligraphy brushes. Um, similarly to real brush pens and dip pens, and so it's going to change um, how thick and how thin it is. So I really like these calligraphy pens. I use those a lot. Um, let's look at painting brushes. Let's go ahead and clear this. Painting brushes are really, really neat. Um, they do behave like um, paints would, so you can layer um, paints on your canvas. I like this one, so it's going to get thicker every time I put more on it. I really like this Nico brush. I think that's really cool. Let's take that away and keep playing. Stucco, I think, is really neat. So you can just come and play around with all of these different brushes. I think the variety of brushes in Procreate is very impressive, um, and the amount of brushes that they offer um, is definitely worth um, paying for this app. All right, so we don't have time to continue going through these, but as I will say over and over, I encourage you, once you get Procreate, come in and start going through these brush folders. Um, there are some really, just to show you one more example, there's some really funky um, textured brushes in here that can make um, patterns. Um, you can come in here and find some abstract brushes. I'm not exactly sure what you would use them for, but they are, oh, that's the same one, but they are very neat. Just the variety of different um, ways you can be creative in this app is very cool. Um, the element brushes are really interesting. Oops. The element brushes are very interesting. You actually can um, use some of these. Um, you can use this water brush, which I think is really cool. You can use this cloud brush, which is actually really, really neat. You can use um, this flame brush. Let's go ahead and change the color. So you can make like a fire with some of these brushes. So some of these I definitely do not use on a daily basis, um, but it is interesting um, all the different ways that you can be creative in this app. So go ahead and start playing around with different brushes. All right, so we talked about brushes. Now let's go ahead and hop over to the eraser tool. So that is this tool right here. So we're gonna click it. And as you notice, it has the exact same brush library um, as the brushes did. So that's the one thing about Procreate that is very neat that each um, tool you have, you have brush, you have smudge, and you have erase, they all have the same brush library. So you can be creative with the ways you erase, you can be creative with the ways that you smudge um, and blend. So let's go ahead and grab a brush from the brush library. What should we grab? Let's grab a painting brush. Um, let's go ahead and play around with this Nico brush. So I'm going to make it pretty big over here in the size panel. We're just going to put some Nico brush down. All right, so now let's come to the eraser. Now normally I erase with just this simple monoline brush from my calligraphy set. Um, just because I want to erase what I put down and it's as simple as that. So I just want to erase whatever I just drew on my canvas. Now, um, what Procreate offers is a way to creatively and expressively erase. So if I picked um, the streak brush as my eraser, I could come in here and I could erase um, in a texture. So maybe you want to do that instead of painting white um, onto your canvas, you want to erase and add some white to your canvas. Um, let's come to maybe a painting brush. Uh, let's try this dry brush. And so I can er also erase um, with this different brush. So I think that's just a very interesting tool that Procreate allows you to do. So you're not just erasing with a plain old eraser, but you can actually erase with a brush in the brush library. One thing that's handy is if you tap and hold, so we use the Nico ro roll brush, we're gonna come over to the eraser, we're gonna tap and hold, and it will now be set to the same exact brush. So now it is erasing with the Nico brush. So that is a tip, um, a brush tip. If you tap and hold, 
it will connect you with the exact same brush you used um, with your brush tool. So let's just practice that one time. So I'm going to clear. So let's pick, um, let's go to artistic. And let's pick this one that starts with a Q. Cool. Let's change our color just for fun. So let's put some paint down on our canvas. Oop, the opacity is down. Let's put some paint down on our canvas. And so now we're going to click the eraser and hold. And now we can erase with our current brush. So as you can see, even my edges are going to erase seamlessly because it's the same type of brush. If we had just a plain old monoline brush, Oops, where is it? There it is, monoline. Obviously, that looks very different. Um, so that is one great opportunity that Procreate provides for your art. All right, so we've talked about brushes and erasers. Now let's talk about this middle tool, the smudge tool. So in order to smudge something, we have to have paint on our canvas to smudge. So let's pick our brush and let's go ahead and put some paint down. So I'm going to come to um, painting and I'm gonna pick gouache, the gouache brush. <laughs> Whoever came up with the names of these brushes had to be very creative, I'm sure. Um, so let's put some paint down. So we've got this color, it's kind of a sea foam green. Maybe add um, some blue in there, add a brighter blue. Okay, so now we have paint on our canvas. We're gonna come and grab the smudge tool. Let's see what it's on. Let's go ahead and put it on the same brush, gouache. And so now we can come in and we can smudge and blend um, our colors together. So that's all this tool does. The smudge tool just smudges the paint across the canvas. So it's nice for blending colors, um, watercolor painting, um, anything you would want to smudge paint around with and blend colors, um, the smudge tool is really nice for that. All right, let's take all this away. Let's try one more time, just as an example. And we're going to use, oh, let's see, we're using gouache again. So let's just put a couple more down, more colors to blend and then we will tap and hold our smudge tool so we know we are smudging with the brush that we just put all this paint down so we want it to look seamless. So that's a really nice way to blend colors as you're painting or doing watercolor. All right, and that's the smudge tool. Or you can just smudge it all together. <laughs> All right, so let's come to our brushes. Now we have gone over brushes, our smudge tool, and our eraser tool. Let's go ahead and open our brush library. As you can see, there are our brushes here, so let's go ahead and just click on one. Um, doesn't really matter, we'll just click Nico again. And if you click it once more, it will open up um, its editing page. And so from here, Procreate has given you the ability to come in and edit any brush um, that they have in the library. So you can adjust the spacing, the jitter. Um, I really don't know many of these different editing um, abilities because honestly I just don't use them very much. I think Procreate offers um, plenty of variety of brushes and I don't really come in um, and edit um, any brushes because I just don't think um, most of them need it. There are enough different uh, types. You don't have to come in and edit. But if you want to edit, um, feel free to come in here and play around with some of these different brushes and see what, um, how you can change them and edit them. So you can edit brushes. You can also um, purchase new brushes. There are different artists um, who specifically create brushes for Procreate and sell them on Etsy. Um, and so you can go and buy, purchase these br different brushes and download them right into your brush library. If you think there's a brush um, that you're looking for that's not reflected here, um, definitely go and search for that and look. Um, I personally haven't done that much because, again, I just think there's such um, a great variety of brushes in this brush library and too many to even familiar, fam <laughs> too many to even familiarize myself with. 
So I honestly don't buy more brushes because um, I think there are plenty. Um, but if again, if you think there's a brush that's missing, go ahead and go find another pastel brush or go find another calligraphy brush if you are a hand letterer and think there needs to be more calligraphy brushes. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to make a brush set. So this, tap, go ahead and tap this plus icon. We're going to name it, I'm just going to name it MK's Faves, because that's what I would want. MK's Faves. So this is going to allow me to pick my favorite brushes and add them to my folder. Um, this is very helpful so you're not just searching and searching through brushes, but once you find some brushes that you really like, um, you're able to organize them in different folders. So I'm going to add this 6B pencil because I use this one constantly for sketching. So we're just going to drag and drop into there. I'm also going to come down into, let's come down into calligraphy because I personally use this monoline brush a lot. So you can just start adding, oh, where it is, there it is. Um, I also like this brush pen here. So whatever brushes that you end up using a lot, you can start organizing into different libraries for yourself. And there are my three favorite brushes. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video about brushes. Um, if you are interested in making money crafting, go ahead and sign up for the free webinar down below. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.